Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are talking about Amazon Web Services Monitoring. Keep watching to find the list of our favorite tools. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Why do you need monitoring in Amazon Web Services? Well, it lets you ensure that your software is accessible to users 24-7. Even minor downtimes and security issues are documented. Performance and costs are tracked and can be edited in time. And you have analytics and insights on how to change the tech stack or development or testing approach. So you might be wondering what to monitor in Amazon Web Services. We will review universal metrics that have to be controlled in any case, according to Jelvik's experience. The first metric is CPU utilization. Tools for controlling EC2 engine perform a report on the consumed amount of CPU, the number of AWS credits, and the worth of each instance. The second metric is network utilization. You can track how much network an instance requires and how quickly it performs at a given period of time. The third metric is disk performance. Amazon Web Services offers several types of disks, and their performance is influenced by workload, instance, and input-output configuration. The fourth metric is disk reads or writes. You can confirm the status of the operations on all employed EBS volumes. Amazon supports monitoring for both reading and writing operations. The fifth metric is memory utilization. You can track memory usage per instance, get updates on all collected metrics, and logs. Let's now review types of Amazon Web Services monitoring software. The first type is automated monitoring. Automated monitoring tools are enabled by default, regardless of whether developers work with them or not, and they provide such benefits as you can keep track of your software performance and data consumption, there is no need to perform additional calculations, while customization is simple. We at Jelvix recommend teams to invest in automated AWS tools. Do you prefer manual or automated? Share your thoughts in the comments section. The second type is manual monitoring. Some tools require active users engagement and customization. They give you advantages such as full control and customization, ability to specify which insights you need, and finally, these tools are less expensive. Let's take a look at tools for automated web services performance monitoring. System status checks is the simplest tool to check if all instances are working smoothly and are available to the end user. The issues are detected automatically and communicated to the AWS official team. Instance status checks is similar to the previous tool. However, rather than taking a look at the entire system, it explores a single instance. Using instance status checks, you are able to detect issues like corrupted storage, memory issues, wrong hardware or network settings, and kernel issues. Amazon CloudWatch Alarms lets developers run a specific metric automatically or compare several aspects with each other. It's a useful tool for understanding how much your software states have evolved over time. Amazon CloudWatch Events can be used to program a response to a particular system change. The new state is seen as an event, so the team's job is to program a response. You do it once, and AWS executes the action on a regular basis. Amazon CloudWatch Logs allow users to manage all their logs and statistics in a single place. You can set conditions, computations, make dashboards, and define constraints. CloudWatch Agent analyzes your cloud and hybrid services, runs them by specified metrics, and reports the result. By the way, for more information about cloud services, we highly recommend checking out our article, Different Types of Cloud Service Models. The link is in the description. And AWS Management Pack aggregates performance updates on all used Amazon Web Services resources and services. Now let's review tools for Amazon Web Services cloud monitoring. Amazon EC2 Dashboard allows getting in-depth statistics on the instance's performance. Also, you can use manual functionality of CloudWatch. CloudWatch is the main AWS resource for monitoring. It has both automated and manual features. Along with default real-time features, CloudWatch has a range of more precise monitoring settings. You can also use third-party AWS monitoring tools. We are excited to present a brief review of the Jelvix team's favorite AWS monitoring instruments. 
So, Grafana is an open source software used to visualize statistics, analytics, create alerts, and collaborative dashboards. Prometheus is an open source tool that monitors database performance, reports to events, and alerts teams when things go wrong. Wavefront is a cloud-oriented analytical tool that creates graphs, tables, and dashboards from Amazon Web Service Metrics. Zabbix is one of the most popular monitoring tools on the market, mainly due to its well-done customization. Metrically offers a lot of custom integrations with Amazon Web Services. We hope our review was useful. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the experience of Amazon Web Service application monitoring. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to like this video and press the bell button. Bye for now.